game is over, we played like shit. <laughs> it's obvious Koshelny was not very fit. I know he's been hurt, but there was no other pick? On the first two Southampton goals, he was doing spastic karate kicks. Hey! Hey! The window is coming. We need D and a winger. Who are we going to pick? It's too bad the owner is a cheap fucking dick. So go ahead and deck the halls. All that jazz. On this rainy night in New York, I'm gonna pass. I'll be sitting here playing FIFA 19. Sitting on my ass. And before I get into it, let me start by explaining my very ridiculous look. So I had a bet with my friend who is a Manchester United fan. And <clears throat> when all was said and done, my ridiculous look was the payment for his bet. He told me that we were going to lose our first game after going for a long time unbeaten. And of course, uh, if you were in my shoes, you, you'll probably be as confident as I was prior to the game to, at Southampton. And because I lost, I had to wear makeup to do this video. So thank you to the Arsenal. Thank you to Aubameyang for missing how many, how many chances now? One, two, three. I lost count actually. Thank you very much, the Arsenal, for putting up such a pathetic performance in the first half. Ridiculous, I must say. And here I am looking ridiculous as well. How bad can it get for me on a day like this? Usually, I do not like throwing shades on, on players, but Aubameyang has got to show more commitment in games like this. The referees are always going to be on our case. But if you take the games beyond them, then they can do absolutely nothing about it. So once again, we went into halftime without having a lead and we were actually losing as well. Um, even the last goal, the last goal when it came, should he have stayed on his line? Should Kashoni have got his head on for the first goal? <sighs> I don't know, it's annoying. But now we need a response. Now we definitely need a response and that's what I want to see. How we can come back from this. And the perfect response would be to beat Tottenham on Wednesday. So, come on you got this. Yeah, um, one of those games we could stand up to Liverpool, we could stand up to other big teams, beat Spurs and lose to Southampton. Terrible, but you know what, in, in defence um, we have terrible injuries, um, we're fighting to hold on. So you know, I was hoping for a draw at least, you know, we lost, I think Leno is to be blamed, uh, he needs to be better. Uh, right now Petr Cech looking good, but you know, I still support our team still support the coach um, I don't think he had much selections to, to make to have an impact you know I think Lacazette and Obama Yang should have started but I understand he went for defense rather than attack but you know what it's all good now that the monkeys off our back we went 23 undefeated I believe um, now it's off our back now we can get down to business let's try to beat Spurs in the midweek and then progress and then on to Liverpool I believe and you know let's just Let's just do better, you know, hopefully we get some people back from injuries and uh, just keep going. Arsenal, guns out. Hey, AFTV family. Uh, what's up, what, how you guys doing? Um, yeah, it, it's, I'm not mad, I'm just uh, disappointed. Um, you know, I uh, I know this, this will happen, I know we're going to lose a couple of games. So it's just that uh, I didn't think it was going to be with Southampton, you know, it's, it's typical Arsenal that a uh, a team is on the on the last leg. You know they can't make uh, any any difference in the Premier League, and then Arsenal goes there, and then all of a sudden they become like Barcelona. Uh, you know, um, 
it was a poor game. You know, it was a really, really poor game. The fact that um, uh, three crosses into the box, uh, we couldn't even challenge for one. You know, it, it, it's it's sad. It was it was a poor game all around. Uh, the only man of the match I would say is Terrell because he was sending in some passes that you know I thought we were gonna make chances of what we had. Obama I missed a couple of chances, man. It will be. It's it, 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 it's it's disappointing. But you know, this part of the game, let's. Uh, Re recoup, uh, let's smash Tottenham, you know, and then and, and, and going from there. I love you guys. Uh, let's support the team. This is this is part of football. Okay, uh, this is these things are gonna happen. So Arsenal boys, uh, Gunas and Gunas, uh, let's keep our heads up and let's go forward. All right, love you. The thing comes to an end, and that was the end of our uh, 22 games unbeaten run. Uh, you don't expect it to end at Southampton the way it did, but. I think we lost just not just because it was a bad day on the office in the office for Onai Emery. I think we lost primarily because uh, Bern Leno, the goalkeeper, missed. Uh, he went out for the cross and he missed it. You're told as a goalkeeper when you go out, you go, you have to get something on it, bunch it away or anything. But you you can't just miss it. And he missed it, and the goal was gaping, and the guy scored, uh, Charlie Austin, again against us for maybe the third fourth time. Um, and also, I think Aubameyang is not sharp enough these days. He, this is like two or three games. It's a mini drought by, by his high standard. Uh, now, the problem is that um, you, we were, we're having a North London derby in the Carbao Cup on Wednesday. And, and uh, Spurs are coming on high. Uh, they just scored an injury, injury time winner uh, by Ericsson in the, in the last league game. And uh, you're coming on the low. You lo just lost your unbeaten record. And now um, you lost also ground to, uh, to the top four. Uh, I think now we are three points behind Chelsea at, in the fourth place and, and, uh, and the five, uh, five points behind Spurs. So we're going to have to win this one, but I don't know. It's a dilemma for the coach because um, whether he will name a strong side or not. What I'm most happy about is the fight that I've seen in the team. I've seen the team come together this year. I see the, the talking, everyone's talking to each other. They're bringing each other up. Even when we went to go down, I don't see any heads dropping. I'm slightly disappointed that uh, Iwobi was taken off, he was doing really well, one of the players that I used to criticize a lot. Um, he was driving forward, he was making things happen, so when he came off, I mean it's good for Mezit to get some time on, on the pitch, but he's just not mobile enough in a game like that, he just, away from home he tends to disappear, but um, I still feel like, you know, we, we did really, really well. Mickey, good to see him get on the, on the score sheet, another player that people thought was starting to, you know, tail off or whatever but he's shown his quality and I feel like if we give him a bit more time he's gonna really start shining um Oba so sorry man he missed a few chances we should have put that in the back of the net we should have been clear by about four goals but um to be honest I'm really happy like that we're still showing fighting spirit and yes our 22 run unbeaten you know is, is gone but um I'm actually glad because it might you know, pick the guys up to say we need to step up because... The I think it might be good as we go forward um, in becoming more careful with both our tactics as well as the selection of our start starting lineup. Um, uh, a few main points I have to make. Firstly, I feel completely and utterly disappointed in a section of our san fan base who have taken to blame Ozil um uh, and call him lazy when the stats don't really match up so if you're making a criticism uh, please base it on statistics and not some speculation from uh, uk tabloids so that's one uh, point and the next point is i feel like it's important that we start laka in every important game so maybe he shouldn't have played in the during the midweek but he should have started today um and uh, I feel like going forward, we could, we should take the lessons from this and we will be fine. Oh, we sorely missed Socrates and Mustafi as our centre back pairings. And you yes, St. Mary's is our bogey ground. We haven't picked up any points in the past few seasons at St. Mary's, so which we knew it was going to be extremely tough. We fell asleep three times, not that we were torn apart, we fell asleep three times and were punished very harshly. I think we should prioritise. Europa and the Premier League by any means necessary let's get back into the top four as we can't spend another season playing Europa League football we need to be back in the Champions League and let us go and get three centre-backs and a quality world-class winger in the summer 
And then hopefully next year sometime we can challenge for a title. Love you all. Have a great weekend. Have a nice. Because we, we got away with this at Manchester. We got away with it. And today, no, we couldn't get away with it. Because at Manchester, we, we are like, um, we are like, got a lot of injuries. And we got away with that. Today, no, we got... But I'm gonna say it's because of the injuries though. Whenever we wanna like push forward, that's the time we got a lot of injury classes. So that's too bad for us today. And uh, the last goal, the defend today was dead. The defend was dead. Nothing to item about. About that defense today. It was so defense was so miserable, was so widely open. Uh, and I, I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. But let's keep going, let's keep fighting. It is what they do, you are still working progress team. Let's go, let's keep fighting. Come on, here, gone. Kushani is not okay. He's not he's not fully fit because we could see I don't think this season we've ever considered a goal on set piece. I don't think so. But three goals, set piece the same way. It's so bad. It's so annoying and it's so bad. It's just that the coaches, the coach, the injury that came up and all that that happened. I don't blame them. They've been doing well. I believe they're going to bounce back in the Carabao Cup against Tottenham. And I believe we'll get back to top four. We're going to finish top four. I think we were punching above our weight. Because uh, people may say, yesterday we didn't have our first choice defense. But with our defense, we have been shipping goals. I think 18, 18 or 20. So we need to sort out our defense. We need to buy. If you look to Liverpool's defense or Man City's defense, their pairing is about 100 million pounds. I don't say that we need to buy, but but it needs. It, it's not our philosophy to buy like that, but it seems that we need to buy. Yesterday's games uh, shows that we, we lack the personnel of defending. The first goal, goal, goal reminds me of the Atletico one when Kokosin tried to use his legs, not his head to, to clear the ball. Like Chelny was not ready for this game. Uh, he didn't have really serious threat in the Europa League, so I think he should have done a lot better in the first and third goal. I think Leno should have done a lot better in the third goal. Uh, I think we missed uh, Xhaka in his own place. I think Gundozi should have not started. I think he should have been on the bench. I think we should have put Xhaka in his own place. I think we should have put Morial in Xhaka and have started Metal Niles on the left side. I think we should have done that as well. I think uh, the whole team was not ha was up for it. I think they was not performing. But we we move on. I think this is gonna be a good lesson for us to for up the next game uh, for the future. I think we really missed a real serious defender in this game. But come on, you Gunners. The three main problems in that match was. Bernie Leno was horrendous. He made he made Perry Electric look good. When Doozy is not a ball player midfield, they left the job to Jaka, but he was also he's also questioned but at the same time. When Emery got the lineup absolutely wrong, because I don't know why, Lacazette and Ezra Ramsey were on the bench. I think they should have been playing this starting this match. And if they were starting this match, it would have been a bit different. But then again, I'm not I'm not disappointed because it's an it's still early days. We can fix up we can carry on with a good decent run we all they a few things combined um uh, they have a new manager and they were playing at home for the first time uh we had a makeshift back four um Koscielny, our club captain is trying to make a comeback and uh, perhaps this was a game too soon for him in particular um all three goals came from headers crossed into the box and uh, he clearly was not um, capable of defending all three situations. I feel like he could have headed the first ball out. Um, Mkhitaryan stepped up. Uh, I've been asking for this for a few weeks. So, But we do need to look at um, who we left on the bench. Uh, Lacazette and one of Ozil or Ramsey should really have been brought on from the start. I uh, feel like Emery is sticking with um, Iwobi and Mkhitaryan and pretty soon he might come up with some um, alternatives. 
the transfer window window is coming uh, I think we might have to dip into transfer window um, people are blaming Bern Leno for this game but he's a young goalkeeper he's gonna make a few mistakes so let's not be too downbeat we're gonna have these days um, the banter club were beaten um, maybe uh, an early Christmas present would be Mourinho to get sacked see there's always things to be cheerful about gutters until next time. Yo, Koshel me. Just retire my youth. Just football and yours no more. Just retire, Koshel me. Alright? I don't know what. Yo. I can't, I can't understand this thing, man. Although a lot of games we won this year. If it wasn't for the coach, we wouldn't have won. I came back into. So, big up. Una Emre, but me see where this man got clean house. Enough player we in the squad right now can't play for this man because man like Kachel me for just move up, move up. I what kind of game that man? I want to them man, yeah man. Me bomba clad.